Just put a little bit on your brush. If you have an excess, you just um, brush it out on your hand, just like this. So if you want to make it bolder, you just can thicken it up on the outer part of the lid, like I'm doing right now. And that's it for the first liner. It's very easy, very simple. Now we're going to be cleaning it out and I'm going to be throwing line just connecting with your lower lash line, just following straight up. Now, once you have your straight line, throw another one from the middle of the one you're already done. So you're going to make like a triangle form and you will just fill that triangle in. So that's it for a uh, regular wing. You can make it as thin or as thick as you want. It's just depend on your like. Now I'm gonna be zooming you in so you can see how I'm gonna do the inner wing. Grab just a little bit of liner, especially on the tip of the brush, if you're using an angled one, so you don't have, you don't make a mess of it. It's basically the same thing as the other wing. The only thing is that you have to be very, very precise. That's the only tricky thing about it. You can leave it like that, or you just can connect everything and line your waterline or your lash line or tight and tight line it if you want. It's just basically depending on the style that you want and how dramatic you want it to be.
Now we're gonna be doing another one. This is a straighter line. So it gives a different look as the other one, which is more elongated and more cat eye effect. Um, with this one I'm gonna be doing like an inner wing, but I'm not gonna close it. I'm gonna be leaving it open for the effect that I'm looking for. Here you're just gonna be lining the last line as you will, but in the inner corner you're gonna be drawing it downwards rather than closing it. So this is how it looks, um, I'm gonna be cleaning up a little bit the edges so it looks better, but this is mostly it. Um, to make it pop a little bit on the inner corner you can always put a little of shadow, like maybe white champagne or just a highlighter in that part to make it pop. Here I highlighted with a Lanute palette one from L'Oreal, but I really didn't like it. It didn't pop as much as I want it to be. So I'm using this one from NYC as a white one, and I really, really like it.
here I'm just going to some concealer to correct and clean up the edges or if you make maybe a little mistake or something you can fix it with some concealer. So this is the finished look, I hope you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook and Instagram. Thank you all for watching, bye!